It's Giselle. I just wanted to come and talk to you for a moment. You know, one of the things I'm really appreciative about in this period uh, is that I get some time with my thoughts. And uh, I like to come out early in the morning and just jot down and get my thoughts, empty my thoughts as it were. Listen to the birds, we have a starch mango tree and, and they, they are singing and I'm just writing. So I just wanted to share some of the things I wrote about today. I've been speaking to my clients and we're working on the theme of transition. Especially in this time, you know, we need to understand how to navigate transitional periods. And one of the, the things about transition, it, it, it really does a number on your confidence. Uh, your confidence level, it, it drops. And, and you really are unsure. It's a period of in between, as I call it. So I, I just wanted to share with you some things that I wrote about confidence. Because even as I share with clients about transition and about purpose and about confidence, I too, I have to remind myself that I need to be confident. And so, number one, do something daring. Now, I know you're saying, Majiza, we can't go outside. How are you going to do something daring? But hey, be creative, be innovative. Something that you always wanted to do and, and you never had the time to do it, do it in this time. And you know, I did. I always wanted to create an ebook, but I kept telling myself, you know, you can't do that. Uh, you're not a techie. That's not for you. And believe it or not, I finished my ebook. So that's one thing off my list that I always wanted to do. And that brings me to the second point watch yourself talk. Because I kept telling myself, I'm not a techie, I don't understand, I can't produce an ebook. But when I started to change myself to and affirm myself and say, you know what, you can do this, I did. So number two, watch yourself talk. Number three, this is a time where we need to increase our learning. And I'm a stickler for that. Read, read, read. Learn new things. Engage learning in new ways. Even if it's to bake a bread, make a cake, learn to do something new. And right now, you know, online learning is at an all-time high and at discounted prices and even at free. And that's the best price in the world. Learn something new. Increase your learning is number three. And number four, self-care is so, so important. So, you know, we see all the memes and the jokes about getting dressed to go to the bedroom and go to the kitchen and go to the living room. So what? Take care of yourself. Take care of your mind. Take care of your body. Take care of your spirit. You have the time now. A simple thing as a pedicure. Yeah, you could do your own pedicure. Do that in this time and keep yourself in, in, in that Space where you know you're happy about you because it's for you take care of yourself and number five I like to put it this way invest in your social capital life I borrowed that term from a friend of mine we have a network we have a community of people don't let this time of, of staying indoors and quarantine disconnect cause you to disconnect from others keep investing in your community Keep investing in your social capital. And, and you know what? As a matter of fact, it's in this time that you would see the yields and the rewards of your investments prior to this time. Don't disconnect. So again, confidence levels, they, they're taking a hit. But hey, these five things, do something daring. Watch yourself talk. Learn something new. Take care of yourself and don't disconnect from your community and you will remain confident as we navigate through this period. I love you. Until next time. Bye.